Hi guys, back to cooking at NCA. We're gonna make, um, these are some spaghetti squash that I grew in my garden last summer. What's great about them is they last a long time. So we're gonna make spaghetti. Empty out all those. Things. This might be a good, a good spot to, uh, Time lapse. Okay. So, spaghetti squash, labor intensive, but worth it. So you want to poke a few holes in your spaghetti squash so it, you know, kind of like a potato when you bake a potato. It's okay. We're going to have sauce on this when it's all done and that's going to need garlic. So it'll be awesome. So I've preheated the oven to 375. I'm going to go ahead and put these in. And those will stay there for 30 minutes. Now we can work on our sauce. So we're going to work on our sauce now and I'm going to pack it full of veggies. Uh, onions, garlic, we, just whatever you want. We got cauliflower, we got broccoli. We even have a really strange looking mushroom that's called a lion's mane mushroom. I've never seen one before, but when I saw it, I said, I gotta try that. And this is the perfect place to try it in a sauce. I'm gonna do my cooking class's favorite thing to do, cut the onion. So while you're prepping the onions, I am going to add a can of diced tomatoes into this pot. This is gonna be our sauce. Ooh, that looks good. Ooh, yummy. Nice and diced. And then I I'm like gonna... a chunky sauce. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to add a can of tomato sauce. Because we don't want it too chunky. Yeah. All right. I'm going to grab a spoon. I'm going to kind of stir it up. I'm stirring this up. Mmm, that's looking really good, Lori. What do you think? Oh, yeah. It's making me cry. It looks so beautiful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I'm just going to eyeball my little measurements here. It's, it's, for, for me, it's kind of fun to do it that way. Sometimes I'm lazy. I'm just going to grab a little tiny like palm full. Do you think this is good, Laura? Yeah, that looks great. Okay. I'm going to kind of crush it up a little bit. Plop it in there. I'm going to... I don't want my onions to burn, so I'll move them around a bit. What do you think, Laura? Um, let's give it a couple. This one's good. This one needs a little more. This one needs a little. These two are good. So how can you tell when they're done cooking? Well, they feel soft. Okay, so my onions are all done kind of, I just want to cook them a little bit before I add them to the sauce. This is a very big, heavy pan, so my arm feeling weak. Okay, there's that. 
and this is on a lower heat because we're just going to kind of cook all this up together, get all those flavors. Now, we do have some extra sauce. So we got spare sauce. I'm going to add a little bit. There we go. All right, so my spaghetti swash is all cooled off now. I So while Laura is prepping the spaghetti squash, I am going to start prepping the uh, the ground turkey that we have our meat for the meatball. So uh, I got a big bowl. So it's always a good idea to practice food safety because raw meat you can get sick from it. So I'm going to put on these little plastic gloves. And if you don't have gloves, make sure you wash your hands really, really well with soap and water for like a long time for at least 20 to 30 seconds in warm water. And then after you wash your hands, you want to sanitize your surfaces with some cleaner spray to kill the bacteria so no one gets sick. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add the meat in here. All right, so I got the meat added in here and then I'm gonna add um, some basil and a little bit of parsley. So I, read, I went ahead off camera, I cut up some basil, so I'm going to add that in there. And then my parsley. And then I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder. A little bit of oregano. And then a little bit of pepper. And a tiny little pinch of salt. And then what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and mix this all up. All right, so now we're gonna form our meatballs. I, I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands really well after this because I'm not big on the gloves. I, I feel like I can form my meatballs better. Just about that size, nice and little. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil into my pan. Get that heated up. I got it on a medium heat. And I've got my meatballs. Now the pan was already warmed up, so I'm not gonna wait for it to warm up right now. I'll plop these right on that hot skillet. Cute little balls of yum. <laughs> that sounded weird. So I just split this meatball in half and it looks all cooked on the inside. That's how I tell if they're all done. So these are done. I can take them off. We're going to check our sauce. Ooh, that's looking good. We're going to turn that way down. Oh yeah. That, everything looks done to me. We can put all this together now. Okay. All right. All right. So I melted a little bit of butter, and this is optional. It's healthier if you don't use the butter, but it's nice and tasty. And it gives it a little flavor. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that spaghetti squash. Actually, you can use a lot of spaghetti squash because it's so good and healthy, but it is filling. So I'm just gonna put it all like like you would have a big plate of pasta spaghetti. Like that, and then I've got my sauce. Look at that, that's looking awesome. Nice coating of sauce over that. Now we're gonna add meatball. 
meatball. I'll do four. Live a little. And I've got some Parmigiani Reggiano. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but <laughs> it's very good stuff. And it makes it look pretty. All covered with cheese. I have my four meatballs. Don't anybody sneeze. Mmm. This does not taste like hell food. It tastes really good. Oh, I wore this shirt for my friend. You know who you are. Bon appetit.